Hi Scorpio, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Hope everyone's doing well. We're looking at a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus general reading for the sign of Scorpio. It's like a buffet table. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And we're going to cut the deck and see what's going on. It is a timeless reading published in the first week of September. Scorpio, oh, a broken heart. What's going on? That's your overall energy. All right, so looks like a tough time of things. Okay, I saw some Scorpio energy in there. So between you and your love interest, the overall energy in the recent past is five of swords. Fighting, difficulty, challenge, somebody probably not treating the other person very well. It's just a feeling of, you know, you drew first blood, Scorpio, or, you know, vice versa. But that's five of swords is raw. Okay, so what is the current energy between you and a person? You're not speaking... Scorpio, you're taking this Virgo energy and you're really trying to look at, you know, find answers. See, you know, it looks like there's, you feel like you're in a repetitious cycle because we go four of swords, five of swords, and then you soul searching. The person of interest, what are they thinking or doing? Three of coins. That energy is one of calm. It is Capricorn energy. Excuse me, I mean, it's Taurus energy. Hmm. It shows that they really feel as though they like to, they like you a lot, they want to work with you. Not anything super solid, though, at this point. How they view you. Somebody who's in love. Somebody who's very deep, very emotional, very tender-hearted. They see you as very loving. How they feel in their heart spaces. Ooh! Cancerian energy, honey, I'm home. That is the emperor driving that chariot quickly towards you, I think, to work on things. Okay. How do they view the situation going forward? Scorpio, there you are in your own reading. They want a rebirth after what looks like a death in this relationship. And we'll clarify as we go here shortly. Ooh, the justice card, Libra energy. Both of you are wanting balance. Both of you want to be fair. Both of you could be thinking in terms of long-term commitment, what you want in your life. That can be a marriage card because it's literally the seventh house of marriage ruled by Libra, the planet Venus and Saturn for committed relationships. So you're both interested in a committed relationship. Spirit is saying that this is a very difficult and challenging relationship it's pisces energy this can unravel you you're underwater here and spirit is warning you that you have to be careful that's a very deep energy because now we have cancer we have pisces and we have scorpio it's a lot of watery energy and it looks as though it's a good trine but it does mean that spirit is basically saying you have to get out of this energy of depression and helplessness. You need a rebirth, okay. The Eight of Wands is the outcome, passion, making love all night long, texting all day long, maybe sexy texting, but it is very enthusiastic energy. I, the Eight of Wands is great. It could be taking a trip together. It can represent airfare, um, air, airline travel, you know, rapidly moving forward in a relationship so let's take a deeper look at this for you scorpio i'm going to clarify with the miniature deck of lightseers tarot but i'm going to clarify also that the bigger issues here are going to be clarified several with several oracle cards because i really want to get a good deep look in this for you okay why is the four of swords here what on earth are you healing from as the overall energy in this reading so it would mean both of you. Ah, look at that. I just love it when I use the same deck. Okay. So it looks as though both of you are searching for answers to the romantic possibilities that the two of you have. There may be an age difference. It looks like there is because with the page of cups here, 
it looks like when pigs fly that's a little you know like when pigs fly it's not grounded but you know i really love the knight of cups but we have to remember that knights are not sticking around this is part of their journey this you neither one of you are holding back at this time but i would say that give and take there's an issue with give and take equal give and take what both of you think that you can give the relationship is different okay so why do, have, we, why do we have the Five of Swords here? I'm talking too fast. <laughs> or trying to, Scorpio. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Devil card, Toxic Energy. You know, I want to say one thing about the Devil card. Whenever I get it in a reading with my clients, I will usually ask them if their person of interest has accused them of being controlling. 95% of the time or 99% of the time, I get that that is a yes answer. Now, oftentimes it's a person who's making the accusation that's controlling, but it's a very interesting energy because there's been an argument here and it's been a real heated argument. It's been a little bit, even if it's not spoken, it really is like, oh no, oh hell no, nobody's gonna control me. Not in a million years. So, why is the Hermit card here? Why is the Hermit card here? Nine of Cups, you're both thinking about how much happiness you have when you're together. You like to party, you like to have fun, you like to be out in the public together. It is wish fulfillment, it is the card in the Tarot that is the closest thing to a fairy godfather, godmother that we have, but it, you know, it speaks. A lot of people just feel it's a party card, but I don't really feel that way. I really feel like, yes, you could eat, drink, and be married too much, but I also, it's a card of sensuality, but it also, one more cup and you're, you're married happily ever after when we look at the numerology. Okay. Your person wants a victory with you. Six of Wands energy. Your person really wants a victory. That's Leo energy. They want to take you out in public. They want to show you around. I do feel as though there was an element of the two of you not making your relationship public here. That's what I'm getting. But you know, the Knight of Cups, back to him. I really feel like the Knight of Cups is Pisces energy. Pisces energy is lovely. But the Knight of Cups is kind of like when somebody makes a big romantic gesture and then they forget that they plan dinner with you the next day. It's a, a sign of the prodigal son. Just a thought. Okay, why is the Queen of Cups here for you? How they see you? Ten of Swords. They feel as though you walked away because you felt like there was just no hope for the relationship. Yep, Scorpio Energy released it. Tell us more about the devil card. Let's go up here and look at this devil some more. Tell us more about the devil card. Well, good. Somebody wants to run in and fix the situation. Being very intellectual, cool, calm, and collected. Aquarius energy. Oh, look at that. The star card, double Aquarius hit here. Jupiter and Saturn are currently in Aquarius. Lovely. Like, you know, that's the expansiveness expansiveness of Jupiter meets the seriousness and and responsibility level of Saturn. I like it. Why is the Nine of Cups of Happiness here? Well, it looks like you both invest pretty soon. How does your person see this going forward? Uh, uh, a bunch of cards spilled out here. I'm not going to take them. Okay. How does your person feel about why they want a victory? Why do they want this victory? How does your person want this victory now? Ooh, you're highly desirable. They don't feel as though they would in any way be pressured to marry you or marry for the wrong reasons. They feel very independent. They've done some healing work. You've, you're very independent. They really feel as though the two of you are powerful in your own right, and that is sexy and attractive. Look at this energy again. Three of coins, three of coins. They really want to work and collaborate on relationship. They want to be able to share what's in their heart space. They want to be able to say, honey, I'm home. They want to throw caution to the winds. Why is the death card here? The death card is death and rebirth. It's literally written on the card. We see a beautiful 
sun rising here ace of coins ace of coins i like it ace of coins is a substantial offer to move forward into a new phase of a relationship because we have scorpio here releasing we have enlightenment we have wishing coming true and we have the death card and rebirth card with that ace of coins which is your rebirth all right so the hidden energy here is the justice card why is the hidden energy the justice card please spirit tell us that ah okay so the emperor upright is somebody who likes to be large in charge and have it their way reversed it's a problem reversed means that both of you are very accustomed to being in charge so the issue is that the two of you need to find balance because both of you want to be the leader both of you feel a little entitled to be the leader okay so why do we have this emperor card reversed the moon card there we go okay see this this push pull this imbalance is very unhealthy it puts both of you in a really deep deep sense of fear you know when you look at this moon card this is pisces energy the 12th house on the astrology wheel is the house of undoing and so she looks as though she's peaceful, but it also looks as though she can't really get a handle on it. She can't seem to come to the surface because she's not a mermaid, right? She's really not a mermaid. She's there in a beautiful gown. So it really speaks to the fact that spirit is saying that the two of you maybe shouldn't drink. There should be maybe an address, you know, to address that situation because the 12th house can unravel us. The nine of cups is a drinking card and there is some sort of energy here that says especially with the devil energy that there could be addiction death and rebirth is also like rehab it's really healing i'm not going to you know i'm not going to insist on that as being the read but it could be for someone it will be out there in the meantime for the rest of you it's a hell of a lot of confusion about who's in charge and how do we do this because there are two really big exciting personalities here the magician card says and spirit is saying there's magic there's healing this card is also magus the healer because back in the day historically speaking people thought that when a doctor healed somebody they were a magician they were a wizard okay so this is Magus the Healer, beautiful card, Virgo and Gemini energy, doing the work, having the communication. So Spirit is saying this can be healed, that both of you have the tools to do it. Okay, what else? Ten of, eight of Coins. Both of you are not learning right now. It's like you both have an agenda. You both need to be more open to learning about each other, getting to know each other. I'm not seeing a lot of team effort here. It's very sort of more egocentric driven. All right, so what's the Ace of Wands here? We see lots of passion, that's exciting. A little something, something, okay. I like it, right? Why, why shouldn't we? We're all adults in the room, presumably, okay. Ace of Swords, the truth of the matter is the passion's off the charts. But we have the issue here in the near future. The outcome is the Ace of Swords, there's clarity that there will be no manifestation or long-term relationship. Ouch, Scorpio. The Eight of Cups, though, remember you go to the Nine of Cups. I'm going to do you know, the, alternate, the alternate interpretation of this is also that... To move forward, the Empress has to be the Empress. And right now, the Empress reversed is somebody that would not be able to hold on to someone. The Empress reversed is a lack of manifestation. Could be overindulgence, too. It's possible, the way this is looking. Okay, so I'm going to pull another card for why the Empress is reversed. Why is the Empress reversed here for beautiful Scorpios? No healing. Okay, so that's what we see. So what I'm getting here is that it is, 
there is a perception that there is an underlying problem. Now, it could be both people. It could be either one of you. It could be, you know, any combination thereof. But what I'm seeing is that while there's passion, there will be no commitment until there is healing. Healing. And the Empress is the one who has to heal. We have the Emperor here driving the chariot. We have the Emperor here reversed. So it could be both. We have the Emperor and Empress. I've never actually had that. Reversed. So, Eight of Cups is leaving for more fulfillment. Let's take a look and see why we have the Emperor and Empress reversed. Because you're a divine couple turned upside down in your head. But the Honey, I'm Home card and the... Boy, there's so much powerful energy here. This would almost be an obsession for both of you. Enchanting gifts. Exchanging gifts, sorry. Exchanging enchanting gifts, okay. So it really speaks to the fact that you give each other a lot. The why. Serendipity. So... Asking a lot of questions right now. Both of you are doing some serious soul searching with that. With the Hermit card. You're really drowning in your emotions though. Let's take a look. I'm going to use the Heart of the Fairy Oracle because it really can speak to the shadow side of this reading. Dark side of the moon. Okay. What do we have here for the Heart of the Fairy Oracle? What is this? reversed emperor and empress what is this about two cards please please there we go well i got three there is a gift in the situation the lord of the sword of the forest i would say that's our knight of cups here the lord of the forest could also be our hermit or virgo or grounded energy but the sorcerer and that's very much this magician energy so what we're seeing here is one person knows that they're probably guilty of drinking too much or having whatever the issue is themselves. So they don't really feel as though they can point the finger at anybody else. And if they did, it's almost like it would be like, no, you have a drinking problem or you have a drinking problem or you have some other problem or you have some other problem. So it's almost like the two of you are caught up in your egos. And that's what I get. Okay. So let's take a look and see what the High Priestess, the Oracle, the Priestess, excuse me, the Priestess Light Oracle says, what's the advice from the Priestess Light Oracle for our beautiful Scorpio friends? This is a gift. According to spirit, this is a gift, and the sorcerer is a magician, so it really speaks to, you know, using your inner magic to heal this situation. Grateful optimism, joyous view of the future, nice, okay. Being optimistic because, quite honestly, the two of you could overcome anything with the death and rebirth card and the release go with the flow letting go cleansing and receiving all right there we go that cleansing energy is healing energy right and doesn't this look like baptism it almost looks like baptism so faith could be a, a point of contention here also okay one more card Miracles, ancient wisdom, my God, Scorpio. The phoenix does indeed rise from the ashes with this relationship. I hope that you have a good week ahead, Scorpio. Please leave comments below because now I'm really, I mean, I can only go so far in this. I would really love to hear how you're experiencing this energy. Sending you love from Chicago. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you would be so kind. I'm so grateful for your time. I thank you so much. Bye-bye.